Hello everyone. So in the last session, we have covered some of the theory of the dynamic tables. In this session, I will explain you the demo. So let's start with, so what I'm doing here is I am using the role account admin. So let me run this command. Uh, then I'm using the database as training. I'm using the schema as demo and I will be utilizing the compute underscore warehouse. So in order to show you the demo of the dynamic table what I have to do I have to build some tables and how the tables are organized let's take a look so the first table will which I will be creating is the raw underscore applicant staging table so consider that that there are few people who are applying or they are the applicants their data is actually coming to this particular table on a regular basis and there are some external systems which are feeding this particular table on a regular basis so what will be the columns in this table are id first name last name sex ethnicity ssn street address education level years of experience and the job id for which the application is actually coming so let me create this table so our raw applicant staging table is created I'll just put two records here. So let's see what are the records I'm putting into it. I just put the ID as 1111. Name is James Schwartz, male, American. This is the SSN here and other details. This is the address and his, and his education qualifications are high school and years of experience is five and the job ID is 10. So now since I'm using a job ID, I have to create a job details table with the ID. So if you see here, I'm creating a job details table where like the columns are like job ID, name, city, state, education level. So for example, job ID 10 is a painter and this is the name of the city and all other details here. So let's see, let's, let's create this table. So job details is created. Uh, let me just insert some records into the job details. So now our uh, setup data is actually ready. So what we have, we have the raw applicant staging table where we are getting the rows on a continuous basis. But here we have just inserted these two records for now. And in our job details table, we have around five rows, which is 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Now let's create the dynamic table on based on these two tables. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a dynamic table, which is names as candidates and the target lag, which I'm using is the downstream and I'm using a warehouse as compute underscore warehouse. So, so let's go through the query. What exactly I'm using here? I'm not doing anything complicated here. I am just taking the raw applicant staging table and then joining it with the job details table on the job ID column. I'm just generating Two, two more columns here one is the status and another one is the comments in the status I am saying if the education level of the job detail and the education level in the raw applicant staging if they are matching then the candidate is shortlisted otherwise the candidate is just staged and will be referred later and in the comments I am just mentioning that the education level of the candidate is matching with the job he has actually applied. So this is a very simple query which I have used in a dynamic table query. So let me create a dynamic table. So as we have seen in the theory that this is the statement which will be used to create a dynamic table. So our dynamic table candidates is successfully created. And now what I'm doing, I'm creating an another dynamic table on a dynamic table where the status is shortlisted. So I'm calling this dynamic table as candidates underscore shortlisted and the target lag I'm giving as downstream and the warehouse as compute underscore warehouse. So let us create another dynamic table. So basically what I am doing here, I have created two tables in the beginning. Then I created a dynamic table and then I'm creating another dynamic table on a dynamic table. So this will just create a pipeline. That's what I will show you. So let me create this one also. So in the session, you have seen that we have created two dynamic tables and two normal tables. So let's query the dynamic table. So when we query the dynamic table, it will give you the error that the candidates table is not initialized. And similarly, it will give you the error for the 
कैंडिडेट्स एंड को शॉर्ट लिस्टेड बिकॉज द टारगेट लैग वॉट वी हैव गिवन इज द डाउन स्ट्रीम एंड अनादर टेबल ऑल्सो वी हैव गिवन एज द डाउन स्ट्रीम सो इन दैट केस यू हैव टू एक्चुअली रिफ्रेश इट मैनुअली इफ यू हैव गिवन द target lag is downstream so downstream means you are at the down of the system and you have the freedom to basically refresh it on demand so this is the downstream table so let me refresh it so i refresh the table here and i am refreshing the candidate shortlisted also now these tables are refreshed let's see if we have the data here or not so in the candidates if you see i have inserted these two records these two records which i have inserted they are actually available in our dynamic table but if we scroll little right if you see here one candidate is the staged and another one is the shortlisted and the comments are also mentioned here so if you see here the candidate with an id 111 is shortlisted and the candidate with id 2222 is staged here see so in the shortlisted we should see the one the id with 1111 so this is how it is coming so our candidate shortlisted dynamic table is also working so i have created the uh, dynamic tables here normal tables also let's go back and see how the graph looks like so when you go back here and then you come here and in the under the training database under the demo schema there is a section called the dynamic under dynamic tables so under the dynamic tables when you click on candidates and then you click on the graph you can very easily see the pipeline which you have actually built so if you see here this is how your data pipeline is actually getting built so raw applicant staging is this table which we have built job details we have built imagine that some data is continuously flowing to these tables and these are the dynamic tables you have built so we build candidates and over candidates we have built the candidate shortlisted so let's make this data pipeline as the automatic refresh what we have to do so let's go back here go back to the dynamic table so we can easily see the records in our dynamic tables now what we will do we will make it as automatic but before that there are certain details which you can see in the ui and via sql so in the ui i have just show you, showed you the graph let's see it via sql also so you can see the dynamic table graph history here so there are certain columns which have been provided by snowflake like which table which schema what are the qualified names here what are the inputs it will just show you both the trainings here if you see like what are your input tables and and so on so basically there are target lag type is downstream security text and other details it will show but if you really want to see the refresh history this is the query you can basically use it just now we have refreshed you can just go back and see like what which particular table is refreshed at what time and whether it is succeeded or not so these are some of the sqls which you can actually use so let's make this particular data pipeline as automatic so that it can refresh so what i am doing here i am changing the target lag to 1 minute so that every 1 minute if the data is coming to raw applicant staging or it is coming to the job details our dynamic table candidates and candidate shortlisted will get refreshed automatically every 1 minute so let me change this so our dynamic table candidate shortlisted and candidates are set as 1 minute now what we will do we will just see what is the time now so if you just see here it is like 5:47 24 july so what i will do at this particular time i will just insert one more record which is 33333 that's the id so let me insert it so and then when you query it it will not come immediately we have to just wait for a minute to see the data so let's wait for some time and then we will come back so more than a minute has been passed so let's come back and see what exactly is their data in the candidates so if you see here the record 333 is available and in our candidate shortlisted if you see this 333 let's see what is the status this particular record is staged so it will not come to our shortlisted table so that's how the dynamic tables pipeline is actually built but 
i hope you like this session and before you guys go away i just wanted to ask you guys to please subscribe like and share and also let me know your questions in comments if you have any thank you for watching